Hi, my name is Rita Fischel and I'm here to talk about the Creative Grids Charming 5 Square Templates and the Block a Month program that we now have to go with them. The Charming 5 Square Templates have been designed to cut from 5 inch charms and then when you sew them back together they become 5 inches. So all of these different shapes work with each other or with uncut charms. But you can also use strips and scraps and pieced blocks. After I show you how the templates are designed, then I'll show you the block a month program we have to go with it. Each one of the shapes comes in its own little package with a color instruction sheet with a free pattern. So this is the first one and it's a square, five inch square, with all of the markings defined that you would need. You've got the quarter inch grit of all the way around to hold on to those little pieces easily and you've got all of the lines defined for the different subshapes or squaring up that you'd want to do. The second one is a snowball block and again here is the shape, here is the packaging. This is a, an example of a snowball block that's sewn back together and this is a snowball block that's been sewn together using a four patch to begin with and this is the pattern that comes with that little template. This, into the, this, this gets, gets the ruler into the hands of the users and it gives them something that they can actually do with it while they're learning how to use the tools. The third shape is the hatchet. Again, you've got the shapes. They, they show, show you what the shape looks like that you're cutting. You'll notice there is a defined center line here, so if you want to cut from squares or four patches or center it for like an I spy type of a look, and there's a secondary cutting that's listed on the ruler. This is the shape of the little hatchet stitched out, and this is the hatchet that's been stitched but first was cut from a pieced um, strip set. The pattern that comes with that one is for this little table topper here. The fourth one in the series is called the Whirligig template. This is the packaging of it. Here is the Whirligig um, stitched out and here is a picture of the actual template itself. This is an example of the pattern for the table runner that comes with the ruler. Number five is the square on point or the set on point square template. It's just a small square and again it's got the picture. It also shows the secondary cutting right on the template itself and here okay. is the pattern Locked that it in. makes. Cute little table runner. All of these free patterns, here's the shape stitched out, um, are for table runners and table toppers. The sixth one in the series is the half square quarter square and you get both shapes from the same template. There's your quarter square, this is your half square and you, you can, can see, see on the ruler that the full size is what cuts the half square triangles and the secondary line there cuts the quarter square triangles and there is again a cute little table topper pattern that's included with that ruler. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the block a month program that we've got that features these tools. Um, for anyone who's interested in this, the first thing you need to know is, although this has been designed to use the five square templates, each one of the patterns has the shape given on it in case um, the customer or the quilter prefers to make their own templates. On the front of the pattern, there's a picture of the finished quilt, and here it is behind me, and then on the back of the pattern is all of the breakdown for the yardage requirements. If you're a shop owner or you're a guild and you think you might like to do this as a block a month, when you open the inside, it breaks down into each page being one month. So when they take this and their kit, they can go home and make the project and come back the next month, or you can mail the kit out the next month. After they complete the 12 blocks, then the rest of the pattern gives step-by-step -step color illustrated instructions on putting the whole quilt together and it can be sized from a large lap up to a large queen. Each one of the instructions is defined just for the specific size. One of the things that they'll discover with this, it has four blocks to begin with that, that just use one of the templates so that they can purchase them one at a time. 
and there is a fifth block that's a larger block that's right here that also just uses one template. Once those first five blocks are done, all the rest of them are mix and match of multiple sets of templates. And they'll start to learn how to take a four patch, for example, cut two diagonal opposite corners off using the snowball template, and then when they sew the triangles back on, it gives a totally different look. You can see that here with the whirligig block. This is one side of the whirligig. The other side was cut from a pieced strip. The border around the outside, which is really only for the queen size, has been made using that hatchet template. And again, you'll notice that the hatchet shapes were cut from pieced strips. It's set together with a contrasting sashing, and then there are setting triangles that bring it out to a lap size, and then it borders from there on out up to a large queen.